Hello, this is Mike Tullis, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about making a pin kit uh, be able to take a G2, a Pilot G2 insert. And what I've done is I've made quite a few pin kits, and different pin kits will take different inserts. Now the kits come with uh, a ink filler uh, with the kit, and uh, this kit came with this uh, with this ink filler. Um, but the problem becomes if you make this kit and you give it to somebody as a gift, uh, they get it, they like it, they write with it for a while, but sooner or later they're going to run out of ink and need a new filler. This filler that comes with the kit isn't standard. I can't go to uh, Staples or Home Depot to get a refill. So um, you, ha you can order them online, but it's kind of a hassle. You've given a nice pen to somebody and then it's a hassle for them to get new ink. Another trouble is that these fillers don't, uh, refills don't come in very many different sizes and colors, basically black, uh, basically a medium uh, point size. Um, so I've come up with a method to modify this, this particular kit to take a Pilot G2 uh, insert refill. Uh, the Pilot G2 is this pen, you probably recognize it. Uh, it's a it's a wonderful pen. Uh, it looks inexpensive. They are inexpensive, but these pens uh, write beautifully. They don't skip. They I don't have any trouble with these. Plus, it comes in many different uh, line sizes and different colors. So you can buy refills, or it's fairly inexpensive just to buy the pen, buy the pen, uh, take out the refill toss this and then use this to refill your nice pen that, that, that you've made for somebody. Uh, but it takes a little bit of a, uh, of a modification. I'm going to show you that today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the camera uh, so you can see what I'm doing. It's very easy to do and I'm going to try it with this pen right now. I've, I made this pen several months ago. Uh, I've not modified it yet so I'm going to modify it here today and let you know how it's done. All right, uh, now I'm going to show you how to do the modification. What I have here is a pin that I made several months ago. It hasn't been modified. And let me just open it up and you can see, I, I believe you can see the, the, uh, the pin sticks out a little bit from the nib. This is what the, the, the pin looks like when you buy, uh, when you put, put it together. Um, after uh, after you make the pin. Uh, the problem becomes uh, that's what it's supposed to look like but a the pilot see how it doesn't stick out far enough? I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it doesn't stick out quite far enough. Uh, so so that becomes an issue when you're writing plus plus it just doesn't look quite, quite good enough. Uh, here's another pin that I've I've already modified. This is the pen I use most often. And, and it has a G2, but, but you notice it, it sticks out enough and it, it's got a nice, a nice look to it there. So all you have to do for the Baron kit is, uh, is uh, take, take the kit apart. And it's got this feature where it's got this little nib in the front, uh, the, the very end. And you can put it in and see um, and see how, how, well it, how well it's coming through. Now, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the, the issue is that this, this, um, this ridge sits on this nib right there. So that is what's keeping it from coming through further. So all I do is I take a little sandpaper, this is 150 grit sandpaper, and sand it down. So I do this by hand, and uh, and I try to keep it uh, even, sanding down as even as I can, and then I can check it, uh, still not coming through, but still fitting pretty good. Uh, so I'll sand it again. I may cut this out of the tape uh, because I think you get the picture, but uh, it's pretty important that you you keep it uh, perpendicular to the to the plane of the of the sandpaper but not critically important you you want it to sit 
uh, sit here very, uh, uh, very flat. But if it happens not to be flat, the rest of the pin will hold it straight. Um, if you can see, I've sanded enough. It still needs to come out a little bit more. Now, I usually eyeball this. I will uh, just do it uh, until it looks good. Um, now, you can't really use this as a measurement because as soon as you start doing this, then this is going to stick out further and further and stick out too far. So, uh, uh, when, when you modify the kit, you can no longer use this, uh, whoops, you can no longer use uh, the, the insert that came with it, and you have to use a G2. So let me keep sanding a little more. And then check it. See, now it's starting to look pretty good. It, it's sticking out. Uh, uh, pretty good and you want it to come out so you can see this this sloped part but also see a straight part as well and it's not quite not quite good enough so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it a little more there I think that looks pretty good if you, if you can see, it's sticking out a little bit. The sloped part of the of the of the refill, you can see, plus a little bit of the straight part. Um, and then you want to make sure you don't sand off all of the uh, all of the um, the, th the threads there. But uh, that's never been a problem for me. Uh, thread it in; it still threads in nice. Put the G2. There, that looks good. Go ahead and get this. Put this together. And, this, and, uh, and you've got a nice pin. Here's, here's another kit. Paper. It looks, looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But that's uh, very simple. It's how you modify a Baron. Uh, pin in order to take a Pilot G2 uh, refill. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope this uh, information was useful to you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.